Fred, I'm the Flight Right Master, and today we're talking about my original Revel X. JRC54 did a video on his epic toolbox, what he hated about it. I'm not going to do that kind of video, but it kind of made me think maybe you guys would like to see an update on the OG Revel X. I'll link his video in the description so you can go watch it see what he hated about his epic i haven't actually watched all the video because i didn't want to it to influence what i said about the revel but i thought it was a good idea and after i get done filming this i'm gonna go back and watch it so link will be in the description i think i've had this for coming on three years now something like that i've had it for a long time as you can see this is the original revel x because it's got the drawer here and the drawer on the side. Now, a little different background, more classic flat rate master. I don't have the wall of infamy or fame, whichever you want to describe it, of everybody's stickers. And this is currently how it's set up. Quick little, uh, you know, tour. Still have the screwdrivers slash gear wrench, uh, Torx bits up here. I've got the cable for VADCOM up here. Why? I don't know. I should have it in my cart, but I keep hanging it back up there. Of course, I still have, yes, I still have the Varus Edge. Everybody keeps asking about the Varus Edge. Yes, I still have it. Am I upgrading to the Zeus? No. Got the Encore back here and my little, and my little uh, Matco toolbox from several years ago you know got various stuff you know kind of set, set up the same way it has been i've got a new al329 from autel not a sponsor i bought this because mine went missing for some reason and of course right after i got this mine showed up so i've got a spare what i love about it well it looks cool Let's be honest. Uh, <clears throat> functionality, I've had other than quite soon after I bought it, and I did this in my last update tour, the lock on the main box decided it didn't want to lock, unlock every time. We were able to get it open, get the top drawer out. The uh, district manager came out and got the lock mechanism working. Other than that, that's really been the only problem I've had with the toolbox. Everything works great. There's a couple things I do wish they would change on it. Um, one, I wish they would add a second power strip to the other side or double the outlets. As if you can see, every outlet on this side is full. Every outlet on my Revel is full. So might think about adding a second power strip to the hutch, Matco. My power drawer, which is a little different than Snap-on's power drawer, I use it just for charging batteries. I think that's actually a better design. I don't store my power tools in there because they take up the whole drawer and I wouldn't have space for the chargers. So I use it strictly to charge things. I think that's what it's meant for. That's what I like about it. I don't want to have like the the tall epic ones where you stack tools and try to charge and all that it's all in my cart so why do i want it in my toolbox personal opinion but one thing i do not like don't use is the side drawer over here i'll show put up a video of it right now the top lining on it has kind of degraded and it, the drawer sticks and it's kind of useless. I mean, it seemed like a good idea, but it really in practicality, it's kind of useless. I do love, it does work well. This is where I put my keys, stuff like that. You know, some of the other stuff, you can watch my tour of it if you want to see what's in there, but it's all my personal stuff. I throw it in there. And I actually really do like this drawer because like on my snap-on box, I had the same kind of drawer set up, but 
and unfortunately took up a drawer that I could use for other stuff, whereas this kind of drawer is extra and allows me to have everything in there. Like Bam Bam has the snap-on with the hydraulics that pull up. Nice, but it's just one more thing to break. So this is just a simple hinge and a place for it to slide in and activate the light, which it comes with, by the way. So I have no problem with that. Doesn't bother me at all that it's, you know, manual. Now I get asked a lot how tall these boxes are. I am 5'11". And pull my hat off and my head is hitting this lock mechanism. Now with it all the way in, my head, I can, you know, put my hat back on. I can fully get in here and I'm not hitting my head, anything like that. Now if you're six foot plus, you're probably going to be up against that. The snap-on box with these smaller wheels is, is shorter. And when I originally got my Revel, it had these shorter wheels and my headline was right here. But if you get the, if you buy one of these Revel X's, get the upgraded casters. They're expensive, but add height. So definitely well worth it. They come stock with the Revel X. They're an option on the Revels. Me and my Matco dealer found that out the hard way. Thanks to my Mac dealer, who used to be a Matco dealer, I got new wheels cheap and was able to raise it up and match the heights. Would I buy this again? Absolutely. In fact, I did. I bought a Revel to match. Would I recommend this box? Absolutely. It's plenty big enough. The drawers are configurable, so you can maximize what you use it for. The Revel has the wider drawers and I do kind of wish I had a few more of these kind of drawers, the narrow ones, but it is what it is. So overall, I love my Revels. So, and I love having the wall of Revels. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I am the Flat Rate Master.